Hello, my name is Anaf and welcome back to the React for Beginners series. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use props in React components and how to make your components re reusable by making a way for a component to access some data or attributes that we pass to it. Now, in the last video, we have talked about how we can use uh, JSX and inline JavaScript statements to print out something in a list or maybe place something according to a condition, etc, etc. So, right now we have some items in our to-do list. So, we would normally use something like this uh, to-do component. So, we could do like this to-do. But if we save this, all we can see is wash the car because if you go to the to-do component, we have hard-coded text wash the car in our to-do component. So if you wanted to like uh, put each of these items in the list, the to do list would have to like create a separate component, but that's not possible. So a way we can accomplish that uh, thing where we can just pass some data to a single component, and then that component will just display the data dynamically, and this makes a component reusable. So for example, I have this to do component, and if I could like pass it this item that we get from the map function, we just pass it this item, and this component would just display the item itself. That would be really awesome. And in React, you can do this with something called props. And props are basically a way for us to pass some data to the React component. And it's basically in the form of arguments or parameters or whatever you call it, like the way you pass some um, arguments to a function in any programming language in React, you do basically the same. Well, let's say I have this component. Uh, let's modify the to-do component a bit. And instead of just uh, putting the li over there, let's put the li inside the to-do component. This would like make it a bit more convenient. So let's put this here. Now if you refresh, same thing. So have this component over here, and now I want to basically pass this item over here this component so let's do something like item equals to and since this is jsx we use curly braces embed variables or javascript so item equals to item or we can do something like entry you can like call it whatever you want so item equals item let's do entry so to do entry equals to item now, if we refresh this, nothing happens. Well, basically, we are passing some data to this component. We are not accessing it. So, in our to-do component, in this parameter section, we can take something called props. Now, if we save it and refresh, still nothing happens. So, let us just console.log props. Go to the developer tool. And you see... It's showing an object, entry equals to deploy latest changes, entry equals to you know, desk. Basically, all of the entries inside this to-do items list. So this is basically how props work. I'm basically, I'm just, I'm just simply, like, passing some data, and then the component can access it, so in the form of props. So over here, the name of the prop that we pass is called entry. You can also see it's called entry over here. So we could just do console.log props.entry. Since entry is the data that we pass to our props, save this. Now, if we just refresh this, see, it's just displaying whatever we have here. So, clean your desk, go to the grocery store, take some rest, what are your plans? So, basically, we're just passing some data as props, and then we're just using the name of the prop to access it. So, in our component, we could just remove this, and then we could just display this in DJSX. So, since this is JSX to embed a variable, we put curly braces, and then let's just put off entry. Now if we go over here, see, we have clean your desk, go to the grocery store, take some rest, etc, etc. And if we add something else here, we don't need to create an, another component, and we are just using this same component over and over again with the, the like, using the functionality of props. So let's just do something like, get some Save this, see, showing this in the prop. So we just pass it in the prop and it goes over here and the function and then this component just displays the prop. Now, for example, you have multiple items in the prop and it's going to be really, really big. 
you don't want to do props dot entry props dot blah 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 or just do them like blah 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 you don't want to do that instead why do want to just access it with entry instead of using props dot entry so we want to like do something like this so instead of doing props dot entry we can just do entry that is really easy with object destructuring in javascript basically you have a whole object here and you're just like destructuring just like partitioning the object into all of its values so in our parameter section we just do we put a curly brace and over here for the props we have entry so we just put the name entry now if you save this and refresh we got this over here the console.log entry it's showing this so if i refresh it shows the same thing now this is basically um how it works and if i don't use this if i put something else i'm going to show that entry is not defined not defined and if we do the same thing over here it says entry is not defined it says oh never mind yeah it's not going to show anything because you see like is this showing entry is not defined wait no. See, it's not showing anything because it's always undefined. It's trying to find the value SDA, SDA, whatever, however you pronounce it. It's trying to find this value in the props, but it can't find it. So that's why it's just showing undefined. So instead of doing this, put entry over here, or whatever we call the props. So if we change the name of the props to items, uh, item, we could just console.log this, save this. Now we are. I save this yeah okay so now we're getting this over here i can just read this and boom so this is basically how props work and props are really really simple. like you can just use props to pass some uh data to your funk uh components and then just display them so it's really really easy to use them so this was a short video but i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video I'll see you in the next video.